Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jamal from Fantasy Life and today we are going to break down the Holo Pilot tactic. Now, if you like the video, please make sure you subscribe and like the video so that I can send you guys more content. Uh, with that being said, let's break down the Holo Pilot. Uh, am I pronouncing that correctly? I hope I, I, hope I am. Yes, Holo Pilot. Uh, as you can see here, I basically broke down each of the tactics based on the game mode that I tend to find the most use for them in. Now this isn't set in stone because I do switch out from time to time. Like for example, hard point and part point, I do switch between holo pilot and the, the cloak ability because it, it is very useful. And that's the same thing with other, other game modes too, like uh, like attrition and, and, and bounty hunt. I'll switch out like the A wall for something else. So it really depends on, on the, the competition. This is generally the setup I run with too. And the cool thing is in this particular game, you can kind of swap it out in, in the middle of the game if it's not working for you. So with that being said, we are gonna break down the Holo Pilot live on this particular stream. And uh, I'm, I'm basically gonna break down the time of the Holo Pilot as well as um, how long it's out basically. How, how long it takes to recharge and what are the best uses for it during gameplay. So uh, bear with me. We're gonna, you know, wait for it to load up real quick and we're gonna get into this thing. All right. So this is actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm basically just doing this live. Uh, the whole how to use it, I might, I might separate that um, and, and just put up clips and kind of talk over the clips. But uh, in terms of like the timing and stuff like that, we're gonna do it live right here on the stream so y'all can see what I see. All right, so radio. Bomb. All right, so right now I'm gonna kind of run right here. So first off, because there is a difference with the power cell. So we're gonna do it with the power cell first. And we're gonna wait till that says 940. Aye, crap. So the first one came out at about 940. So it's about 10 seconds. And then we got a bar basically right after the first one disappeared. So generally the clone is out for about 10 seconds. And then with the power cell, probably around 11, 12 seconds, you actually get another pilot. Let's try that one more time. We'll do it when the clock reaches nine this time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here we go, here we go. I got both of them out that time. So at about 8.50, they should be getting ready to disappear. Yeah. So they start disappearing at 8.50, so that's 10 seconds. Right after, at about 8.48, which would have been around 12 seconds, I did get an extra bar. So in total, mm, 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 mm. ah, so in about 25 seconds, it'll go from completely empty to completely full. That's actually pretty cool. Now, that's just the, the clone standing still. If you move with the clone, the clone, Still runs for about 10 seconds. Let's try that one more time. And try that one more time. One more again, okay? One more again. One more eight. Eight. Fine. He's out. He's out. He's running. He's running. Woo! He's running. Not running. He's more creeping, but it is what it is. So, yeah, the clone is out for about 10, 11 seconds. Now I have to die. Have to, have to take this bullet for the team. Pray, pray for me. Pray for me. All right. Oh, the the setup without the power cell. And let's see how long it takes now. All right. So they're out. I think one of them was like a second later. So. So yeah, one yeah. So it's about ten seconds that they're out, but it's still loading up. Still loading up. That was about 17, 18 seconds just to get one. And wow, it's a lot longer. 
It's about 35 seconds in order to get both. About 35, 36 seconds in order to get both. Let's try that one more time. Let's try it one more time. This time we'll do it when the clock hits six. So we'll do it when the clock hits six. So just so we can gauge at a, a better timing on it. Six o'clock on the dot. You hear the drop top. Cruising the street. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's go time. All right, so both clones are out. Now, mind you, I'm not using power cell, so it does take longer. We're going to see how much longer, though. Here we go. So they disappeared after about 10 seconds, but that's still going. It's 15 seconds in. It's just about 17 seconds to get one bar when you're not using the power cell. So. Okay, it's been about 30 seconds now. 30 seconds. Wow, that's about 34 seconds it takes. So it's about 34 seconds uh, in total to go from zero bars to to all two bars when you're not using the power cell. So that's pretty much it for the timing now. So uh, now we're gonna get into basically the uses for the Holopilot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand that the Holopilot is a decoy ability. And because it's a decoy ability, it lends itself to a multiple of situations. So, for example, one, you can let out your holo pilot while running, and it'll just continue running forward while you can just branch off to the right or left. You can also crouch and walk and have it crouching and walking with you, or just have it go crouching and walking in front of you. Or you can just stand in one spot, pull it out, and it'll just stand there in that one spot, as well as crouching in one spot and just have it crouching in one spot. Also take into account that your holo pilots can also wall run. So if you're wall running, when you pull your holo pilot out, your holo pilot will appear while wall running. And then after the wall run, it'll just jump on the floor and continue running. The downside to some of these holo pilots is that they are very easy to kill. I mean, they could just walk right into a wall and then they would disappear. If they get shot, they would disappear. They are very weak. They can't take any damage. Uh, in certain situations, when you call them out, they'll just disappear instantly. So they do have some downsides to them, but they can be very effective if used properly. I'm going to tell you guys right now, the Holo Pilots are the anti-camping weapon. I swear they are some of the best things you can do to draw out campers. And because of that, they are best used in game modes where there are a lot of camping. So the best game mode to use them in is Amp Hardpoint, which actually promotes camping because once you take over a particular hardpoint, you basically got to stay there and amp it, uh, thus for camping. Holo Pilot is the best, best tactic to use in that particular game mode alongside with invisibility. Another game mode is really good for is Bounty Hunt, and that's because most people tend to camp at the banks. So this is also another good thing to do because you can just throw them in there when uh, you're going to deposit your money. And what, what happened is it'll draw out anybody that's camping in that bank. So if you're having an issue with campers, the holo pilot is the tactical ability you want to use. Do not sleep on the deceptiveness of this particular tactical. This tactical will draw not only pilot fire, which boy it does a really good job of drawing pilot fire uh fire it will also draw fires from automated titan so a ai controlled titan it will draw its fire so you can either escape or jump on the titan from a different angle or so on and so forth it will draw the fire of ai grunts so any grunts in any particular game mode like attrition and and bounty hunt it will draw the ai's fire it will also draw the fire of pilot sentries now don't quote me on that but from my experience i've been able to avoid pilot sentries by drawing out my clone and it basically concentrating its fire on the particular clone and because of that it is very powerful in terms of deception now i said this was an anti-camping tactical and the best way to use that is so so what you want to do is in populated areas what you want to do is let the clone go in there first, particularly have it crouching and walking so it's moving slower. And what would happen nine out of the ten times is somebody's going to shoot it. 
And when they shoot it, they give up their position. And then you run in there and then you hose them down with your gun. I've used that so many times. And I don't know if it's so effective because not too many people use the holo pilot. But there has been so many situations where I will send my holo pilot into a particular area, into a particular room, into a particular building. And whoever's camping in there will give up their position by shooting at it because they truly believe it's a pilot. And people are very hungry to kill pilots in this particular game. So once they give up their position, you come up right behind your, your holo pilot and you shoot them while they're still targeting your particular holo pilot. This is also a tactical that helps people camp as well. This is very efficient for camping as well. The best way to use this is during an amp hard point or a bounty hunt. If you're at a hard point, what you do is you leave your clone standing right in the middle for everybody to see. And anybody that runs in there are going to shoot your pilot first, especially if you put it in the middle and then you go camp in a corner. When they run in there, they're going to see your pilot, they're going to shoot it, and that gives you the opportunity to then shoot them. That also works in bounty hunt when you're camping at the bank. You put the pilot next to where the deposit is and then you go camp in a corner when they run in there they see your pilot they shoot it and then they go to deposit their money you shoot them in the back from the corner that you're camping in now earlier in the video we learned that the pilots are only out there for about 10 seconds so your holo is only going to be out there for about 10 seconds before it disappears that means every 10 seconds you got to go back to that particular spot and lay that decoy out again and that makes you temporarily vulnerable that's the biggest downside to that particular tactic and we learned that earlier in the video. Now, we also learned in earlier in the videos with the power cell, right after your clone disappears, basically within a second or two, you're going to get another clone. So you can keep literally, I mean literally, going to the middle, putting out the clone, running back to the corner, and just keeping that cycle going and having people fall for it. The downside is if multiple people runs into that room, your chances are only going to be able to take out maybe one or two because that first one's going to take out your clone and then you're going to have the other person that comes and they're going to see you killing the person that took out your particular clone. Now that's it for this particular video. Try out the holo pilot. Try out these particular tactics. I guarantee you're going to have success and you're going to have fun while doing it. With that being said, if you like this video, drop a like. If you hate this video, smack that dislike. If you want to talk more about the Holo Pilots and ways that you're using the Holo Pilot and finding success and having fun with it, because the Holo Pilots are extremely fun. It's so satisfying seeing people shoot at your, your, your Holo and then you're taking them out. Leave it in the comments below. Let's talk about it. And remember, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe for more Titanfall 2 videos. Remember, your life is a fantasy.